Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I had to get on camera with you guys. I just started making these little pizza boxes. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun to decorate. Now, let me talk about this for just a moment. The inside is shiny and is food safe. So you don't necessarily have to just put cards in there. And this is in the um, holiday catalog. You can also purchase the 3 by 3 envelopes that will fit right in there if you'd like to. The pizza boxes are just $6. And let's see, you get 8 boxes for just $6. So that's a pretty good deal right there. So let's talk about these little boxes just for a second before we start to put it together. I use the um, the Be Merry uh, DSP, which is in our annual catalog, and um, I used also the Delicate White Doilies right here. And this is another great buy. You get 24 of these in here for like close to nothing. Okay, so that's a great buy. Um, so our little boxes. So they come with these little inserts and a couple of just things to pop out right here at the circle and then right here on the side these tabs just pop these out so just three little things to pop out okay then on every score line you want to fold this and really fold it sharp you can even um, use your bone folder anytime you make a box or something that you know you have to have that really nice right angle go ahead and use your bone folder so I just kind of fold these in just kind of press them down it'll take you just a second to get everything done but it's all part of it it's all fun so then I'm fold that this way and then these two flaps up then I'll fold right here on this one. Okay, just kind of running over it with my bone folder and then fold these in. And right here. Good. Now I'll show you why. You want to take your tabs right here at the bottom where you've got this little circle that you folded in half, okay? You want to put them to the inside and bring this up and over and see there's little notches right here or th these little tabs go in these little notches right here and it holds your box just like that. And see how nice and crisp my edges are and it just takes that shape nicely. Okay, then this back, this will just fold in like so, just like that. And it's nice when you use your bone folder, it really um, just collapses into itself, makes it really nice. So now let's talk about these little strips right here. I covered my box with the Be Merry DSP, and I used the DSP that had the little reindeer. I think they're so cute. So you'll need four strips of those, and it is three and a quarter by three-fourths of an inch. So three and a quarter by three-fourths of an inch, and you need four strips. But right here on this side, you have this little um, notch. So what I did was I just opened it up. I took one of my pieces of paper. I held it right there. Okay, right where I wanted to put it. Okay, and then I looked inside, and with a pencil, not a pen, right here. Okay, I just made a little mark with a pencil, not a pen. Just in case you get it wrong, then you can erase it. But just right there, made that little mark, okay? So now I see that right here. And what I found was my little one inch circle punch. And I stick it in there, and where this bottom of the circumference of that little circle is, okay? I put that to the bottom of my punch. Now it is a little bit wider than what you drew, but that's okay because that's going to give you the little white border around it. I just punch that out just like that. 
And now, when you put this here, see how you have your little border around everything? It gives you just that little border right there. And I think that's just fine for this. So I'm going to use my Tombow on these pieces. I plan on putting some either cards or tags, I haven't decided yet, into these little boxes. So it's either going to be a box of 3 by 3 cards or a box of 3 by 2 by 3 um, tags. See, and that just looks really nice there, and it just has that little lip cut out. Very simple. Now the rest of them are just straight. Just use your Tombow. Make sure your deer are um, feet down <laughs> when you do this. So right here, you just want to put that. Love the Tombow because it does give me that little bit of wiggle room to get things straight. I sure have enjoyed this holiday catalog and I've also enjoyed our annual catalog has some beautiful Christmas things in it. I haven't even gotten to do any videos with you guys with them yet, but that should be coming in the next week or so because um, you got to do something with Santa's sleigh, right? I have I kept that from last year. Even though those are not bundled and you don't save the 10%, it's still a great set. That sled is like, ugh, oh, to die for. I love the sled. Okay. So this is nice. Okay, just like that. Look, we're decorating our box. Let me fold that into that, just like that. Isn't that adorable? Nice. Okay, now for the top. Um, our piece, again, of the Be Merry DSP is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. We're going to put that down with Tombow. Just like that. So fast to decorate these little boxes and they will make a fantastic teacher's gift if you put a few Christmas tags in it or even some little notes three uh, you you know get a piece of uh, cardstock three by six folded in half they fit in here nicely okay then we're going to take our delicate white doily and just take some snail right here in the middle and just apply that down and put that right in the middle isn't that pretty? That doily makes that so pretty. Now, we I've got this piece of paper. It's got the mittens on the back, but see, I think these boxes are white, so I like to use a solid DSP, more solid color than white color on them. See? So I, you know, I love the doily, but then it needs a solid red color on top of it, as you can see. So just a little um, side note for you guys there. I already stamped a wish for every, I wish for everything merry, and this comes from the Ready for Christmas stamp set right here. This is a fantastic stamp set. Love this staircase and this tree. You've watched me do a video with this. I really haven't done enough with this either. So that's on my list. And I used the, again, the stitched framelits, the circles. And then this is the circle, the layering circle framelit is what I cut this out with. Okay? Very simple. So we're just going to layer this together with some snail right here and this gives us just a little scalloped edge border around it isn't that adorable very nice now we're going to flip this over and put our four dimensionals five dimensionals <laughs> put one in the middle when it's this big to um, reduce any chance of collapsing 
of your element there, your embellishment to kind of bow in. This is good to put the little dimensional there. And we're just about done. Bring our little box in right here and put this on top. Nice. Now again, the pearls are reminding me of snow. <laughs> so I'm just going to put three pearls like they're little snowflakes. Right there. And there's our box, guys. Now we have two of these done. Now I just have to do the tags for the inside. Close that up. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I all my videos are free. And you will be able to watch some great ideas like this. I think these came out wonderful. The pizza boxes are fun, guys. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.